What up, everybody? Power Book 2 Go Season 4, Episode 7. We'll see the return of Tasha St. Patrick to the screen, but will it be for just this episode, or will she continue to be on the show for the rest of the season? Venturi Naughton, who plays Tasha, posted, Tasha is back. So maybe that means she's back for the rest of the season to help out Tariq. The exclusive clip shows Tariq knocking on Tasha's door, and she didn't expect that he was going to be there, asking him what he's doing and what was wrong. Then Tariq walks in and says he just came to check to see if everything was okay. When Tasha told Tariq that he lies just like his father. Something that she also told Ghost before. That Ghost can't tell when Tariq was lying because Tariq lies just like him. Then the clip has Tasha telling Tariq, just tell me why you're really here. But Tasha got interrupted by Yaz who is just so happy to see her brother and want to show him her new room. But as Tariq went with Yaz, Tasha was looking like she had a hunch that something was wrong. Another clip from the Tariq and Diana promo gives us more into this scene as Tasha tells Tariq that the baby is Hope. So we know that Tariq is going to tell Tasha about Diana being pregnant. And from the sound of this conversation, it sounds like she didn't lose the baby. And another clip had Tariq hugging Tasha. And the episode 7 trailer has Tasha telling Tariq that he needs to tell her if he's in danger. But Tariq gets mad at her and tells her that he's not ghost and that he can handle it. Also keeping in mind that the title of this episode is I Can't Fix This. Also keep in mind the clip from the trailer that shows Carter with his gun pointed at Monet, Tariq, and Diana. And the episode trailer shows another clip from this scene with Monet talking to Tariq when Monet raises up her gun. Most likely as Carter's walking in the door. I believe this is taking place right before Tariq goes to meet up with Tasha and likely soon after Diana killed Felicia Lewis. Episode 6 ended with Tariq calling for help after finding Diana unconscious after she had just got beat down by Felicia Lewis. The first scene from the episode trailer shows Tariq and Monet in the hospital, likely soon after episode 6 left off as soon as they got Diana to the hospital and Monet is asking about Diana and the baby. And the question that everybody has going into this episode is, did Diana lose the baby? Because the episode description says, when tragedy strikes, Tariq and the Tejadas are set on a mission to avenge what they lost. Drew must take out a threat to Carter's organization in order to protect his family. But the fact that they're on a mission to avenge what they lost sounds like she lost the baby. But like I said at the beginning of the video, Tasha made it sound like the baby survived. There's also a clue from episode 6 that shows the baby might have survived because it had Felicia Lewis walking by a statue of a woman holding a baby earlier in the episode. But at the same time, Diana got beat down at a place called Holly's Cookie, a clue that the baby might not survive. So with all these contrary reports, my only guess is that the ultrasound didn't originally detect she was pregnant with twins and one dies and one survives. But this is the episode from all the other trailers and promo videos with Diana dressed in all black. It shows a lot going on with Diana in that outfit. One pulling a gun out on somebody in a hallway. Another smashing someone's skull with a weight. Almost guaranteed Felicia Lewis. And a few more clips. One with her looking like she's doing dirt in somebody's kitchen. Then a few clips of her and Tariq with one having Tariq telling her that he's sorry that he hasn't been there for her lately. But he's here now. Something I remember Angela once telling Ghost in power. But because the fact that Carter is going to see the video of Tariq killing Zion. And also whatever crime he gets on Monet, Diane, and Tariq possibly killing Felicia Lewis. Carter's then going to try to put Tariq under his thumb. The problem is he will need some leverage. Because right now Tariq doesn't have any attachments with all his family in Wissek. Especially if Diana does lose the baby. Because of that... When Carter has his face-to-face -face with Tariq, I think he's going to try to stir up Tariq to make him think that Tasha is in danger. Possibly saying that he sent someone over there to where she's at. But in reality, Carter would just be bluffing. Likely not even able to access her location himself. But whatever Carter tells Tariq's going to get Tariq stirred up and get Tariq to go check on Tasha in Witsec like we see in the clip. But the problem is Carter was playing chess, not checkers. And that was his plan all along. He will either then follow Tariq to find out Tasha's location. Or he will put a tracker on his car 
like how they did Tommy in power. Either way, Tariq will lead Carter directly to his family, and I just hope that Carter doesn't kill any of them. I think instead Carter will do something like rough and Tasha up to send Tariq a message that he better not get out of line. Keep in mind that the black and white teaser had Tariq sitting next to a hospital bed. To me, it doesn't look like he's in the same outfit from when Diana's in the hospital and he's talking to Monet. So this could possibly be Tariq in the hospital with Tasha, Yaz, or even Estelle, if that's not Diana. And this wouldn't be the first time we've seen Carter bluffing to get someone to respond the way he wanted. In episode 3, when he had Obi in custody, he claimed that he had pictures of Obi and Tariq in a manila folder. But once Obi responded the way Carter wanted and said that he wished to make a phone call, Carter threw the folder away and all it had in it was some blank sheets of paper. So Carter has a good bluff game and he knows how to manipulate people to get them to do what he wants them to. But once Carter messes with Tariq's family, Tariq's going to go on straight demon time. Then it won't even matter if he lives or dies or goes to prison because he's going to do anything to protect his family. And now he's going to want to take Carter out by any means necessary. But Carter also has more to worry about than just Tariq. He also just got done killing Kamal Tate at the end of episode 6. This will bring on the return of Rashad Tate looking for answers about what happened to his brother. With Carter promising Tate that they're going to get the guy who killed Kamal. The trailer then shows Carter and Nico Cowder about to do a kick door. Other trailer shows Carter playing the gun in someone's hand during this scene. And also shooting his gun through a door. The question I have is who does Carter frame for Kamal's murder? The trailer also shows Carter in the car telling Felicia Lewis that they're all at risk now. Felicia Lewis was already being brought in by the IAB before she even stomped Diana out. And stomping out Diana could have possibly only made things hotter for them. Either way, Carter will likely be pissed off about the fact that she's moving so recklessly and leaving them all exposed. And at the end of the day, Felicia is becoming a loose end. Then add in the fact that Kamal figured out that Nico Cowder is dirty. And he don't know who else Kamal could have possibly told about that. So I think the first thing that Carter is going to do is kill Nico Cowder in the apartment they were doing the kick door at and frame him for Kamal's murder. Then he's going to say that Kamal figured out that Nico was a dirty cop and when he went to confront him, Nico killed him. Kamal had also just connected that Cowder was connected to Tejadas by saying that Cowder was who checked Drew Tejada into the jail and that Drew was in the infirmity when Zay Green died. So right now, both Lewis and Cowder are both loose ends that need to be cut. Because of that, I think that Tariq and the Tejadas killing Felicia Lewis will fall right into Carter's hands. And this is how he's going to have the drop on them right after they get done killing her. I wouldn't even be surprised if Carter drops Felicia Lewis' location for them or sends Lewis to the Tejadas' house to be killed. I think Felicia Lewis could get taken out in a very similar way that Monet took out Detective Whitman. Either way, I think that Carter will be behind the scenes pulling the strings somehow. Because we've already seen how Carter will respond when he's at risk of going down. He went against everything he claims he stands for when he killed Kamal and Innocent. So he shouldn't have no problem taking out both Lewis and Cowder. This would be reminiscent of Ghost wiping out his entire organization at the end of Power Season 2 because they knew his name and his face. And they had all become loose ends. And there you have it. Leave your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments.